Let's talk about P-delta analysis in visual analysis. First question is, what is P-delta analysis? It can be argued that P-delta analysis is the inclusion of a secondary effect on the results of the analysis. The secondary effect involves the changing of stiffness of a structure due to compression and tension forces. In general, compression will soften a structure and tension will stiffen the structure. Let's look at how we do this in visual analysis. If we look at the Project Manager Modify tab with nothing selected in a model view, we see under the Analysis section that we have a static method. That static method can be either First Order, P-Delta, or AISC Direct. We'll talk about AISC Direct in another discussion. Once that's selected as P-Delta, the analysis done will include second order effects resulting from geometric stiffening or softening. So now let's look at our structure. We have a simple portal frame with a uniform dead load across the top and a lateral load of seven kips in this case at the top as well. When we go to the results view and have a P-delta analysis set, if we look at the result case list, there will be not only a first order case D in this case, but a second order case listed as well. And it is the second order case that includes the P-delta analysis results. For this portal frame, the columns are resisting compressive forces, and because of that, they tend to soften. Let's look at the horizontal deflection of this node at the top of the frame, and we see that for the second order of P-delta analysis, its value is, and I will switch to inches here to make it a little easier to see, its horizontal deflection is about 1.15 inches. If we go back to the first order analysis value, we'll see that it's 1.1243 inches. So we see then that the value has actually increased from 1.12 to 1.15. So we're seeing the softening effect due to P-delta effects. Let's now go to a report view. And I have selected the one report table that is very useful in a P-delta analysis, and that's the moment magnification table. That happens to be here in the results tables that you can drag onto your report. If we look at our beam and our columns, we see that for the beam, the first order moment was considerably less than the second order moment. In fact, it was about 25% less. That ratio is what's called the moment magnifier. And in the manual methods for designing members in, and columns, a lot of times we calculate these magnifiers manually. Well, the P-delta effect, it's calculating it automatically. And you can see that's a fairly large magnification. And notice also that, interestingly, for the beam, the moment is also in certain spots actually being reduced due to this effect. One final comment about P-delta analyses is that it's arguable that they're only valid for small to moderate deflections. Large deflection in any kind of structural analysis requires special tools to design that where the large displacements and more commonly the rotations have to be accounted in the finite element formulation. Visual analysis does not have that sort of ability, nor do many of the civil structural engineering type analysis programs. 